Hello, my name is David Sullivan Nesbitt. I am the creator and co-founder of Where Is My Canada? And I welcome you to the Great Canadian Secret Police Hunger Strike. This is day two. We're at the point now where I have gone over two years and uh, basically Bell Canada and the Toronto Police and the RCMP have been attempting to drive me to suicide for two years now. I have gone through homelessness, I have been starved of food and medicine, I have been falsely imprisoned four times, I have been criminally harassed, I have been physically assaulted by the police from behind, I have had a Gestapo raid on August 20th, 2014 at 3.45 in the morning. Three police officers arrived at my door, one of them was drunk, they had their own key, they let themselves in, they flashed flashlights on my eyes in the dark room of my living room and they handcuffed me and dumped me in a hospital. I am tired of this, frankly, this bullshit. I am not putting up with it any longer. So we are on the Great Canadian Secret Police Hunger Strike Day 2. The Great Canadian Secret Police fiasco is finally coming to a close. It isn't just me that's affected by this. I have put up the list of 55 Canadians who are also under terror. They are not allowed to have free speech, free assembly, or free expression. They are being violated just as I am. It's time to let it out in the open. It's time that every single Canadian, all 35 million of us, learn exactly what's going on in Ottawa and the big, huge lie that's being held behind our back. This is wrong. Her phone number. I'm at the point where I think the truth needs to come out. I think that all of these Canadians should be given immunity from Bill C-51 or whatever else threat is being held over their heads and let them be flown to Ottawa and let them speak honestly about what's going on in this country. Of the 50, this is the biggest farce I can ever imagine in my life and it's going on in Canada. Um, regarding children, it's reaching a level that is just almost, um, it's child abuse. Uh, my good friend Kyle Rogers, he was separated from his son for several months. I have a friend, Chris and Ada Nolan. They have three beautiful young children. They are all under secret police control. If you can imagine, a three-year-old girl is being under control by the police. That just feels dirty, frankly, to me. Something is wrong. I have another good friend. Her name is Heather Renwick. She is a special needs daughter. Her daughter is under secret police control. The Canadian family is now under assault. There is no freedom. If this is starting with 55, it can affect anyone. It can affect your family, your children, your grandchildren. This is completely wrong. The government of Canada has absolutely no right to interfere in how Canadian families raise their children. I see fa uh, mothers and fathers on the street, and I think they're doing a fantastic job with their children. We don't need the Canadian government or a whole bunch of dirty, sneaky police running around telling us how to raise our children. This is wrong. It must end. I am ending it now. This hunger strike is going to continue. I have two demands. My first demand is that Bill Blair, the former Chief of Toronto Police, who is now a Member of Parliament for Scarborough, I want his resignation. The second demand I have, I want a full live interview on the CBC The National so that I can tell the truth to all Canadians, all 35 million, exactly what's going on. This dirty little secret is not going to be hidden anymore. I urge all Canadians to stand behind me. I am speaking for the Canadian family. I am speaking for mothers and fathers and their children and their grandchildren. I, am, I think I pretty much got the whole country wrapped up. I am fighting for the civil rights of every single person in this country. We are Canadian citizens, there is a constitution, there is a charter of rights and freedoms. Of, I am urging all Canadians to get behind me. I, can, I want you to email five of your friends and tell them to watch this video. I have a beautiful country. I love Canada. It's treated me very, very well. It's given me a good life. And I want our children and our grandchildren to have the same experience. They only have one weapon, and that is fear. 
I have confronted fear a lot in the last two years. It's debilitating. It takes a lot of energy to overcome. But we can all do this together. We're all going to stick in this together. We're all involved together. We all want a free Canada. We will stand united and we will tell the secret police to go take a hike. My name is David Sullivan Nesbitt. I thank you for watching day two of the great Canadian secret police hunger strike and I hope to see you tomorrow. Goodbye.